cannabis. Does it really belong in medicine? Oh my God, Dr. Patel, tell me. What's, what, do you, what do you feel about cannabis? Oh, Isn't there is um, great research, a lot of evidence uh, around cannabis to make it very clear. I'm a proponent of cannabis. I do believe in its health and medical value if done properly and with proper education. But, you know, interestingly, our body actually has an endocannabinoid system, ECS, already built yes. in. And, and that's only something that science discovered in recent. They couldn't correct. understand why our bodies took to cannabis so much, why people were not just so fond of it, mm -hmm. it made you high or something. But there was something about it that our bodies connected to this and what do they call it those found in cannabis somehow plug right into our system so it's like a beautiful synchronicity amongst our human system and the plant so of course when my patients come in i want to educate them but the few things that seem that it's helped my patients anxiety insomnia which is like sleep issues pain anxiety insomnia and pain numerous people come yeah. in and say I, rather than drown myself in pain pills mm -hmm. uh, which dope me up and really dope me up yeah. uh, why not use other means if I can so I'm not addicted to it I'm not as drugged out uh, there was a um, I believe it finally passed so that's why I you know I you know recommend it I kind of kind of guide them and I educate my patients because I tell them the same thing because a lot of my patients you know they might be a little averse to cannabis I'm high but then I tell them I say like we've talked before, what do you have to lose? You, do you really want pain pills? Do you really want all these other meds where you know the side effects? You don't have much to lose because if the cannabis doesn't work, you always have those other medications to fall back on. And yeah. the, I usually yeah. like gummies or edibles okay. because the thing is, usually they're pretty well quality controlled and you can dose it out. So if I tell them, here's one gummy, start with one quarter, 45 minutes before you sleep at night. And I tell them exactly which one so we can easily quantify and up either increase the dose or decrease it a lot easier. People are like, hey, I took it once. How come I'm not fixed? And people always say, start low and go slow. Always. I usually try to have a strategy and I try to educate them. And you know, the truth is I have converted people. I had a patient. He's 84. He had a foot surgery and he put him on Norco, which is an opioid. And he had a hard time sleeping too. He comes in. He's like, doc, you know, like I'm very anti-med. So I'm like, oh my goodness, let's get you off this Norco. Like, why are you on this? So I said, why don't you try this cannabis? And I recommended like this edible or gummy. He called me about two weeks later. He's like, doc, my entire life, I swore I would never use that, you know, vile yeah. substance. Right.